One of the biggest new features of the new iPhone 12 is MagSafe charging. The new MagSafe charger is a wireless charger that magnetically snaps onto the back of the iPhone. When this feature was first announced, people were going crazy about it. Everyone was saying this is the future of charging for the iPhone, and that Apple is moving towards the direction of removing the charging port completely. But now that we've had MagSafe charging for a few weeks now, it's definitely not as magical as we originally thought it to be. My name is Manith Bal Singh. I make videos every single week helping you be more tech savvy. Today I'll be talking about the new MagSafe charger and really figuring out if this is the future of charging your iPhone. First things first, let's do an unboxing of the MagSafe charger. It's pretty straightforward, just a normal accessory box by Apple, nothing too fancy about it. When you open the box, you'll find the MagSafe charger and one thing to note is it's a USB-C connection that will probably not work with your existing charging bricks laying around the house from your old iPhones. As much as I love Apple, one thing that really frustrates me is the lack of USB-C bricks that they're shipping out right now. If you watch my iPhone 12 Pro review, you'll know the iPhone didn't come with the brick either, and this MagSafe charger doesn't come with the brick. This is a problem because if you don't already have a USB-C device laying around your house, you have to buy a second charging brick just to charge with the MagSafe cable. This cable costs $40, and the charging brick is 20 bucks on top of that. Unless you have an old laptop charger laying around like I do, I was lucky enough to plug in my MagSafe charger into my USB-C laptop charger, and that worked as a workaround. Now, putting the USB-C thing aside, the next thing I want to talk about here is the actual design and durability of the cable. Now normally I wouldn't care about durability of cables but this is a $40 cable and I would expect this thing to last for quite a while. And the issue that I'm seeing is this MagSafe charger is the same cable quality as a lightning cable. Now depending how you use your lightning cables you may be someone who has a cable last for several years but chances are your cables don't last that long. They do wear out quite a bit depending how much you move around the charger. If you've had lightning cables in the past you you know the ends of the cables bend quite a bit and eventually the cables just break open. And I have a feeling this charger will do the same thing. It's really unfortunate that they didn't use a better material for the MagSafe charger. Now another complaint I have about this charger is the length of the cable. For a lightning cable, the use case for that is plugging it into your computer. Having a short cable out of the box makes sense. But for a MagSafe charger that's a wireless charger that's meant for charging, I would really expect this cable to be six feet at least. The out of the box dimension of this cable is one meter, which is only three feet long. I know I'm really hammering in on my complaints right now regarding design, durability, and length, but really there's no excuse for this. This is a $40 cable. If you go on Amazon, you can buy a $20 cable that's 10 feet long and twice as strong as this MagSafe charger. And I've bought in those before because I need long cables that last a long time. And those cables are worth $20. For $40, I would expect something just as good, if not better. Now putting the cable cable itself aside, the charging puck on the very end of the cable that snaps onto the back of your phone is very well designed. It's a metal finish, it has some weight to it, and I really like the quality of that. So the cable may not be that good, but the charging puck itself is beautiful. Now one thing I didn't expect to be happening with this charging puck while we're on the topic of this is I would put it on backwards quite often, especially in the morning or at night before going to sleep. I just want to snap on my phone and have it charge. I would always have the charging puck face the wrong way. This is because it feels is very similar on both sides if you aren't paying close attention. So that's one design note that I want to call out. All right, moving on, let's talk about what it's actually like to use the MagSafe charger in reality. The MagSafe charger will work with any T compatible wireless charger. At the end of the day, this is just a regular wireless charger. The cool thing about the MagSafe charger though is they put magnets in it with the iPhone 12 so it snaps into place. With normal wireless chargers, it's sometimes really annoying to connect your phone to the charging pad at the exact right angle and spot for the wireless charging to work. Apple is solving this problem with magnets. However, let's talk about these magnets for a second. When using the MagSafe charger without a case or anything like that on your phone, the magnet connection is very strong. I'm very confident that it's a secure connection and that cable is not going anywhere. The charger will stay connected to the phone without any issue there. Now where things get a little scary though is if you're using a case on your phone that's not a MagSafe compatible case. Apple does sell MagSafe cases that have magnets built into the case, those cost 50 bucks. But if you just buy a regular Amazon case like I did, this MagSafe charger is not going to work the same way as the MagSafe case would. When using a normal cheap Amazon case, the MagSafe charger will still work, but the magnets are a lot weaker. They do not hold their grip nearly as strongly as with the magnets on the back of the phone directly connect to the charger. This is kind of annoying because the whole point of this MagSafe charger is for that ease of use of quickly snapping it on. If you have a case on your phone, you're not going to get that ease of 
use at all. I find myself spending 30 seconds sometimes trying to get the MagSafe charger lined up exactly right on the back of my iPhone for it to work properly. The whole point of this MagSafe charger is to eliminate that problem of having to line up your phone. If you're gonna buy a MagSafe charger, I strongly recommend buying the MagSafe case along with it. One more thing I wanna talk about is regarding the experience you have while charging your phone. When you plug in your phone to the MagSafe charger, you can actually pick up the phone and use it while it's charging. This experience is very different than using a wireless charging pad. This can go a few different ways here. I really enjoy the fact that I can use my phone with the MagSafe charger on the back of it and just move it around freely. But the problem is this cable is very short as of right now. I hope they sell a longer cable in the future, but you can't really move around too much with the phone. But secondly, with a wireless charging pad, I actually really like the idea of just putting your phone down to charge it and being able to pick it up and just walk away. With the MagSafe charger, you physically have to detach the MagSafe from the back of the phone to move around with the phone afterwards. The way I see it, the MagSafe charger is somewhere in the middle between a lightning cable and a wireless charging pad. The lightning cable is on the complete worst side of the spectrum over here. You physically have to plug in the phone to the charging port to have it charge. On the other side of the spectrum, you have the charging pad where it's very convenient. You just put your phone down, it charges, you pick it up and walk away. There is no attaching of anything, honestly. And right in the middle of those two options, you have this MagSafe charger. It just snaps on the back of the phone. There's no plugging anything in, but there's still some steps involved to attach the MagSafe charger and detach it before you walk away. What do you guys think about this? I personally still like the wireless charging pad, but I do see how this MagSafe charger could be beneficial for some people. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. I'll see you guys next time.